Okay, good afternoon. Because I couldn't come to the department meeting, I figured I'd make a video. I ready. So the big problem with I ready that we found out is that because the high school started at 745 and the I ready didn't open at 8, a lot of teachers assigned a diagnostic for their students. So a lot of students had two diagnostic tests. So next time we have to remember that you don't sign a diagnostic with I ready. It's automatically signed. Um, or let us know if you did so that Scott can delete that because now it can't be deleted. So a lot of kids started two and three diagnostic and that's why they never finished because it doesn't say finish one and start another. It just says not finished. Um, I also got it cleared for ninth and 10th grade to use iReady as pre-skills um, assistance. So they can you can assign that for homework instead of giving the I in practice problems, you can give iReady time um grade books so i went through all the grade books for the high school because your everything is due today there were a lot of common issues practices remember that your graded practices can't exceed five per assessment some people had 10 practices and no assessment some people had 10 practices and one assessment remember you don't need to grade every single assignment so please make sure you take some of those assignments out um assessments remember we don't want that wide range of grading right that zero through 100 scale is not realistic if you can't tell me the difference between the 83 the 84 the 85 and the 86 it's not a great scale to use so let's try to narrow down that scale even if you don't have the exact rubrics yet because there's scores that are all over the place um another common thing i think those are the biggest things that i could think of I am going to come around and talk to you guys individually so that, you know, if you have questions on the grade book, you can, I can answer them for you. But those are the big things. Also, exempt assignments. So we want to stay away from behavior in the grade book. So things like, did I sign on? That shouldn't be in the grade book. Um, Join Google Classroom? That shouldn't be in the grade book. So you want to take out all of the behavior things that did I do just to be doing. If they're not standard focused, please take them out of the grade book. You can use Google Classroom. It is a very good tool for that stuff. Clearly, it's not a tool for did I sign into Google Classroom, but for almost all the other behavior check things. Um, collaboration time. So collaboration time um minutes there have not been a lot of minutes being completed please make sure that each collaboration you guys complete the minutes that are in the shared folder for a lot of reasons but mainly so everyone's on task of what's happening in collaboration time um the end of unit form in the folder so in everyone's folder there should be one end of unit form and um, you can keep making copies of that, but please at the end of every test or assessment together as a team, go through that form. It's just the standards that were covered, standards that were missed, what was wrong, what was right, what you did for equity purposes. If you didn't do anything for equity purposes right now, put nothing and we'll work on it. Assessments, please use the IM for modeling your end of unit assessments. Do not go off and find other assessments. Yes, you can add in some questions here and there, but IM is the approved, approved curriculum. We want to try to stick with the IM structure. Support days. So I talked to the IM rep after speaking to many teachers about different things that they needed, and IM has support days. So at the end of every unit, there's about a week and a half, and it looks like that would be for testing, but it's not. It's for support days. So support days are built-in days so that you can practice your IM skills instead of continuing with the lesson like rigor, 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 right? So for high school, because you have the long block, it would look like two lessons in a day. On the second day, you would do one lesson, and in the second half of the period, you would do support time practice problems with the teacher in the classroom um, you could use computer time for that tools or small group instruction all of those things will be practice time doing one lesson a day and then practice time you're never going to get through the curriculum and therefore kids aren't going to get what they need in order for them to advance so please do not stick to one lesson a day yes sometimes it will be one lesson a day because some of the lessons are longer than the others but for the most part you should be trying 
two lessons on a day than one lesson and keeping up with that pace. Um, rubrics. So we want rubrics to make sure that they're positive and they're not in a deficit mindset. So don't say student did not complete part two, right? You want it to always be what the student did, even if it's a three or two, I mean, a one, I don't really care about, but a three and a two should show what the student did, right? And then the four shows what the student did. And so they know what they have to do to get to a four. Um, rubric also has to be content focused, not my test focus. So it shouldn't be student did not answer, choose number B, right? It should be student did not describe the transformation. So student described one of the transformations and not two of the transformations. Student described one of the transformation and not the sequence of transformation. Not student didn't choose B, but chose A. So today's task, today's task is going to be unit planning because I feel like that will help with pacing that we are starting to get behind on. So you're gonna take every unit, write it out, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Then you're gonna write the standards. Now the standards come from the unit assessment. So go to IM, go to the unit assessment and take out the standards. It's usually only three or four. Then if there's a mid-unit, take out those standards as well. Do not add in standards at this point. Do not take them out at this point. For now, just do them as they are presented. You can change them as they go, but right now, as they are presented. Then go about and do number four for each rubric setting. So every standard, do a number four. What number four looks like, right? That should take up plenty of your time, right? When you are done, though, you can go on and start to look at the assessments because you should always be working up and then down, right? So from assessment to unit lessons, it will help guide your lessons so you know what lessons to take out if you need to for pacing. Please, 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 for unit planning, stop adding in days for skills review, please, right? Because you, one, you're not going to get through pacing. Two, you're not going to give school, students what they need. So yes, we understand that students are not at grade level. That we understand. But they're not going to get to grade level if we don't ever let them see grade level. If you show kids seventh grade, they will always be at seventh grade. So we need to make sure we're showing them ninth, 10th, and 11th, and 12th grade every day and then giving them those practice support times every other day. Um, that's it for me. Hopefully I didn't really forget anything. Very sorry that I can't be there. This great fun meet planning PD on the middle of a school day is so awesome. Um, if you have questions, please feel, to, feel free to email me. Um, thank you. Have a good day. Have a good time. Don't forget to upgrade your grade books by the end of today.